Hi guys, welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the new Windows 11 update for 25H2, in which Microsoft has decided to remove one bypass that was available to create a local account inside the OOB section of the Windows 11 installation. In this video, we're going to talk about everything that has changed and other workarounds that are possible to do in the Windows 11 setup. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. As I've said in the latest Windows 11 update for the dev channel, the better channel, and as far as I know, also the Canary channel for 25H2. For example, in the build 26220.6772, Microsoft has announced that the local only command is removed and they are stating that they are removing known mechanisms for creating a local account in the Windows 11 setup experience OB. While these mechanisms were often used to bypass Microsoft account setup, they also inadvertently skip critical setup screens, potential causing users to exit OOB with a device that is not fully configured for use. Users will need to complete OOB with internet and a Microsoft account to ensure device is set up correctly. So this is pretty bad news in my opinion, but as I've said, there are still other workarounds that we're going to talk about in this video. So let me now show you directly in the Windows 11 setup what is happening, what was the command before, and what is happening now. So in the Windows 11 installation process inside the OOB, whether or not a user from Twitter discovered this new command that was available, which is uh, called to start MSCXH local only, and this allowed you to create a local account by skipping the Microsoft account requirement and other steps in the Windows 11 setup on Windows 11 Home and Pro editions. So in the Windows 11 setup, all you had to do was to press Shift plus F10, and inside the CMD that appears as administrator, you had to type start MS-CXH hyphen local only. Press Enter, and this section would appear that allowed you to create a user for this PC, and you just had to enter a username and a password if you want it, then click on next. And as you can see, the setup just loaded a bit. It said hi, getting things ready for you. And then this might take a few minutes. This is the only screen that appeared where it lets you choose privacy settings. And then once you click on accept, it would directly open up inside the Windows 11 operating system. So basically you skipped the whole setup using this method. Well, as I said, this method is no longer possible in the latest builds because Microsoft removed it. So we're going to try it out. We're going to press shift F10, and then we're gonna type in here start ms-cxh hyphen local only, and then press enter. And as you noticed, that window appeared for a brief moment, but the setup is now completely restarting. We're gonna try this again to see if that was just a bug or an error, and uh, the command simply just crashed. We're gonna type again start ms-cxh hyphen local only, press enter, and yet again, the same thing is happening. Basically, this command was completely removed. So this method is no longer possible. I think it's a bit sad, at least for me, because I used to use this method. It basically allowed you to quickly install Windows 11 with a local account and even without internet connection. Well, now let me show you another method that is possible directly from the Windows 11 setup to create a local account. And basically from this screen again, when the OOB section starts, you're gonna have to disconnect from the network. So if if you have a laptop, make sure you are not connected to the internet with a cable or anything. On a PC, again, make sure to disconnect the network cable. Then press Shift F10 again. And here we're going to use some commands. These commands are a bit tougher to type, of course, in the setup, but they can still be used. And this was shared on Twitter by BobPani.com. So a huge shout out to him. So here we have to type reg add hklm backslash software backslash Microsoft backslash Windows backslash current version backslash ob slash v bypass and row slash t reg underscore d word slash d one slash F and then press enter. Of course, make sure to type it in correctly. You're going to have this command in the article below as well or on Bob Pani's Twitter. As you can see, I've done a small mistake. So that's why I also left it here so that you can see. Make sure you type it correctly. And here is reg underscore D word. And then the final command is shut down slash R slash T and then zero. And with this command run, and now we're running this command as well. The system will restart. Of course, it's going to say just a moment. We're going to go through this very fast. Yes, yes, skip. We're going to select here, I don't have internet. Enter our name, for example, Emmy next, or Emmy one next. A password next. Confirm the password next again. We're also gonna have to add some security questions next. Next, of course, pay attention to what security questions you're adding if you're installing this on a main computer. Next again. And now, again, choose privacy settings, for example, disable tailored experiences, inking and typing. Find my device and then click on accept. It's gonna say yet again, just a moment. Hi, getting things ready for you. And this might take a few minutes. Don't turn off your PC. 
Basically, this is yet another method that you can use inside the Windows 11 installation process. But of course, as I've said, this is only happening now on the latest dev channel build, beta channel build, and canary channel builds. It is not on the main release yet. So on the main release, of course, you can still use the previous command. It is still working. But on the latest preview builds that will come on the main release in the next few months, you will have to use other workarounds. And of course, after the process is finished, I'm also going to show you yet another workaround that you can use directly inside the Windows 11 installation process that will allow you to create a local account. And that's it. We're done. We are inside the Windows 11 operating system. Successfully installed it. As you can see, we have a local account, which is pretty nice. And let's go and type in here WinVer and let's see what version we have. As you can see, we have the latest version. So we successfully installed Windows 11 with a local account by using that method. Of course, it's a bit more tedious than the previous command, which was easier and it made the installation process even faster. But of course, this is everything that we can do right now with what Microsoft has left us. And as I've said, there is yet another method that will also be linked in the article below. It was shared on Twitter by greet the sheep user on Twitter or x.com. As I've said, it is basically another even more tedious method, which will require you to press shift F10 inside OB, use the net user command slash add net local group CDOB and then MSOB and shut down. And this way you'll be able to also create a local account. So of course, these are the times. Additionally, you can also use Rufus for this. So make sure to keep that method also in mind. I've done a video about Rufus and in which I showed you how to install Windows 11 on an unsupported computer. And there you can also install it using a local account. And of course, for additional information and all the steps and commands that I've used in this video, check out the article below in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.